Petty, the longtime manager of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, confirming his death just a few minutes ago. CNN's Stephanie Elam has more now. Tom Petty's music embodied the essence of rock and roll, freedom, truth, and rebellion. With a career that spanned more than half a century, Petty was hailed by some as a musical poet. Music, as far as I've seen in the world so far, is the only real magic that I know. Just something really honest and clean and, and pure, and, and it touches you in your heart. Petty grew up in Gainesville, Florida during the 1950s. Don't kiss me. Don't he met the king, Elvis Presley, on a movie set when he was just 11 years old. That was the moment, Petty says. His life was forever changed, and he became hooked on rock and roll. By 1974, Petty's Gainesville band, Mud Crutch, was California-bound. The country rock quintet landed a record deal in L.A. I live on the west side. Mud Crutch disbanded a short time later, and in 1975, Petty formed a new band that included two other Mud Crutch originals. I really think I'm in one of the best rock and roll bands in the world. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers became pioneers of the Heartland Rock movement. Their straightforward rock and roll sound and unpretentious lyrics generated a string of hits and catapulted the band into international fame. Breakdown. Don't do me like that. Refugee. And the waiting. Later, as a solo act, Petty's southern influence sound brought a new wave of success, Free Fallen. I won't back down. No, I won't back down. And you don't know how it feels. In 1985, Petty's quirky persona found a new outlet, music television. He played the Mad Hatter in Don't Come Around Here No More. And years later, a mortician in Mary Jane's Last Dance. By some accounts, the same uncompromising spirit that made Petty a musical craftsman also fueled his notorious legal clashes with his record labels over the rights to his songs and the price of his albums. And he declared bankruptcy in 1979 to get out of a bad record deal and launched a lawsuit tour to pay for the legal fees. Petty's music legacy includes more than 25 albums and countless awards, including three Grammys. In 2002, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Petty's prolific journey was immortalized in the four-hour documentary, Running Down a Dream, in 2007. People often stop me and say, hey, thanks, you've been the soundtrack of my life. What more can you ask for than for those songs to touch somebody that way? It's just beautiful.